said to mum next year there'll be two little girls. Oh my gosh. Sat on that bench with that skeleton. Skeleton! Skeleton! <laughs> 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 Good morning everybody. It is the 6th of October. It is time to do the autumn porch. <laughs> I mean, I love this time of year. It's October. We're like firmly in it now. I'm ignoring the heat wave this weekend and I'm like fully just like, nope, it's Halloween. Also, I think because we're going to be doing Christmas much earlier this year, as in decorating the house for Christmas, wrapping presents, basically everything I end up like frantically doing in December, I'm not gonna be able to do this year because I'm gonna have a newborn. So Alfie and I are doing Christmas from basically the 1st of November. <laughs> like this house will slowly turn into a Christmas wonderland. It will take longer, but that's fine. Bit by bit, day by day, so that when the baby comes, there's nothing we need to do Christmas related apart from maybe like do a food shop, but we can do that online. <laughs> so the plan is celebrating Halloween a little bit earlier than normal. I feel like we don't usually do the porch this early. Maybe some years we have, but I don't think last year we did. I think last year it was kind of close to Halloween, which is why I put like the cobwebs and the spider and I basically like skipped out the like, just autumn and pumpkins and just went straight to like Halloween. <laughs> Look at my extensions guys. They've gone like pink. I don't know what's happened here. <laughs> Do you see that? How weird. This has never happened before. I need to like text Sam and be like, have I done something? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I think I just need like a blue shampoo on them. Anyway, where was I? Um, yes, so we wanna try and do what? You sent us outside to help you. Sat on the well, because I'm just explaining what we're about to do. You can start thinking up layout because you're very you're good at that. To that. Oh yeah, I will. I've thought out, but now we need. Okay, and do we want to incorporate the bench again? Because that yeah. was kind of cute. For the last, I can't actually remember how many years we've done this porch. I almost need to like go back and look, mm -hmm. but for the last at least five, at least five years. Um, the lovely, wonderful people at Tully's, um, who, as you guys know, I just love, I love everyone there. I love the farm. I'm constantly talking about it. I go there every year. In fact, I can't do, I can't do Shocktober this year. Um, Shocktoberfest is on pause for a year, which feels very, very strange for me because that's like an annual tradition that I've done since 2013. It's like the one thing in the year that I really look forward to. We usually like gather a load of people and make it like a really big fun night out. But I'm pregnant. And one of the first things they say to you when you enter those mazes, if you have like a heart condition or you're pregnant, get out. <laughs> so I'm pretty much ruled out of like everything you can do at Shocktober this year, which makes me very sad. I'm gonna see everybody else there and have like the biggest FOMO ever. But if you can go, you definitely should. That's, that's Nanny. That's Nanny Nala. Anyway, can't go to that this year, but we always go to the pumpkin farm. And as you know, they usually deliver loads of like pumpkins, hay bales and um, corn branches for me to decorate the porch, which is just the nicest thing ever. Like they're just, the, they're just the kindest. It's a family run farm and they're just the kindest people ever. And so yesterday they did a delivery and I feel like this is the most they've ever delivered. I'm gonna have to like, right before Halloween, I'm gonna have to like call all my friends and family and be like, guys, if you wanna carve a pumpkin, come and get one from the porch because there is a lot of great pumpkins. However, I can't really lift or do much. So my mum and Alfie are currently outside making a bit of a plan. That's what we're doing this morning. And I just feel like you all love this video every year when we do the autumn porch. Let's go. It's actually a beautiful day as well today. Sun's out. 
Otty is currently at Alfie's parents. So when she gets home, she's gonna see it. and She's gonna be very excited about it. I'm having a day where my groin feels like it's rubbing together. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to help, but I feel like I'm gonna be good at directing. <laughs> Oh, you got up the pictures from last year. I know, Otty was so small, but she loved it. Every day she'd walk past that skeleton and she just loved sitting next to him. And then we should put these sideways and have like... <gasps> oh, upright. And then this in front of the wall. Yes, Alfie. Oh, so we usually have the sweet corn along here, yeah. all the way along this oh, wall. Behind the hay bales. Yeah. yeah, lovely. And then we cover this pillar in corn. Oh, corn. And we usually cover this one in corn, actually, don't we? Good job, guys. You're doing really well. <laughs> I could always roll them so far. is put the wreath on the door. So I'm gonna go and grab that and it's gonna tie the whole thing together. My little home sense wreath that I have had for like six years now, I wanna say. Still hanging on. I have got a couple of pumpkins I need to glue back on it. It's looking great. It's the wreath time. Oh, on the door? Yeah. Have we got it out? Where is it's it? It's just in here. Done. Done. I said to mum, next year there'll be two little girls. Oh my gosh. Sat on that bench with that skeleton. Do you know what we should do? We should sit you down on there, get your bump out, and paint it orange. Like a pumpkin. And then it's just like paint a little face yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> we really should. You just sat there, pumpkin stomach. Otty is going to want to be outside here all day, every single day. I feel like we're literally going to wake up tomorrow morning. She's going to be like, yeah. spider, uh, skeleton. skeleton, skeleton, spider, and just wanting to come outside. She's going to love him. I feel like we need to like put something funny on his head every day or like do something Dress with him, him up. every day. Or we should move him and like get in there. He's climbing up here or something. Be like, Otty, look what he's done. Put him on all fours on the yeah, back. He's like, <laughs> But we should put him in the car seat, put him in her seat, like, where's he gone? And then we go to get in the car and he's sat in her chair. Like Elf on the Shelf. Yeah, yeah, but, but a skeleton. With, a, with a six foot skeleton. <laughs> That's actually quite terrifying. God, this looks so good. Yeah. Lovely. And then we can do some cobwebs in a bit. Yeah. Every year I'm like, we're not going to do next year as good. I feel like this is better than last year. Yeah. And when these go golden it's gonna look so cool and when it's darker because yeah. it's also like daylight once yeah. it's the evening potty is on her way so I want to try and get her reaction because I think she'll be so excited it already looks even better in this light yeah it's it like does a little bit more like dim <gasps> they're, there, they're, there. they're there I can hear them hello Oh, I'm happy on my t-shirt. Oh, pumpkins. Pumpkins. <gasps> what do you think? <laughs> oh, little one. Little one. But Otty, look. That's a big one, yeah. Look. Oh, you want to take it with you? Let's leave it in here. Skeleton. Skeleton. Mushroom. Mushroom. Oh, spider. Spider. Ooh, they're right Scary. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to sit up here? Yes. <gasps> You've got the perfect pajamas on. Hello. <laughs> oh, do you look 
Let me show you. Let me show you. What's that? Buddha. Buddha. Daddy Biden. There's two spiders. <laughs> Do you? Pantins. Pantins. Do you want to stroke the spider? <laughs> Say hello. Oh. Hello, <laughs> Biden. Oh, you want to hello to that one as well? <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> and you hold Bunny's hand. Good afternoon, everybody. It is another day, but I have something very exciting to share with you. I've just had a delivery from Lush. Now, if you know me, you know that I have loved and spoken about Lush since I did my blog, which was in 2008, which was, how many years ago is that? Is that 15 years? Yeah. Well, that is a long time. Okay, so 15 years, I have been talking about my love for Lush, doing Lush hauls, whether that was back in the blog days of like taking photos when it would arrive in popcorn. And today I'm actually working with Lush on this video, which I feel like is a real exciting monumental moment. You guys just know that I'm just the biggest Lush fan, especially at this time of year when it starts to get cozy and bath season is like, is here. Everybody is going in for their seasonal products and this is a Halloween Lush haul. So I'm very excited to share this with you. Otty is also now a fan of Lush. She loves, when I'm running her bath, she opens my cupboard that I have upstairs that has all my Lush bath products in and she'll want to just throw one in. She's obsessed. We, in fact, we have to be like, oh, maybe not tonight, Otty. <laughs> like, maybe we'll wait a bit and save that one. She's gonna be very excited when she wakes up from her nap and she can come and smell these. What have we got? First thing on the top is this. This is Magic Potion. Oh, Magic Potion. Purple waters bewitched with jasmine absolute bergamot and ylang ylang oils. Okay, next product is a classic from Lush around this time of year and it is the Lord of Misrule bath bomb. This is one of their most popular scents and it is so like unique. It's such a lush smell. So it's kind of a blend of like black pepper, patchouli, sweet vanilla. It's got it all going on. It's very Halloween-y and I know a lot of people swear by this. Like the minute this comes out, they like stock up. So this is the bath bomb and then You've also got that fragrance in the bubble bar, oh, which is a little crown. This is one I will buy every year without fail. Pumpkin, pumpkin, bath bomb. Oh, so good. Their whole pumpkin spice range is so perfect. They have just like nailed it. It's not too much. It's not too subtle. It's like perfectly somewhere in the middle. So obviously you have this little guy, which is the pumpkin pumpkin, but then you've also got this guy, which is the pumpkin crumble. So this is for bubbles. And that smells like, oh my God, what does that smell like? It's, it's really reminding me of something. And then also in the pumpkin range, we have sparkly pumpkin shower slime, which uh, Ottie is going to be obsessed with, I can already tell. And this, which oh, is definitely slightly more on the pumpkin spice side. So if you like your pumpkin spice a bit more spicy, I think you'll like this. This is the pumpkin spice lush melts. Um, so you can literally put this, oh, in your bath or your oil burner. I'm probably getting glitter like all over my nose. Another thing worth sharing, which I did not know before, is that Lush actually use real pumpkin powder, real pumpkin seed oil, and just real pumpkin in their pumpkin products, which I really like. We have 
ghosty. This is a bath bomb. This is very cute. I think I bought this one last year. Oh, it's so fresh. It says a citrus lift to your spirits. This is definitely more along the citrus vibes. If that's a bit of you, I think you'll like that one. This is one I definitely bought last year. Um, and I think I bought one for Mark, which I never actually gave to him. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. I found it in my drawer and was like, hmm, I have two of these. Oh yeah, one of them was for Mark for his birthday, um, which I did use. I'm sure he will have bought himself one anyway. But this is Screamo Bath Bomb and the smell of this says your favorite cherry ghoul. So it has like hints of cherry. Oh, I think this might be one of my favorite of the Halloween fragrances. This one I did not get last year. So I don't know if they had this one last year or not, but I am very intrigued by this. This is the Screaming Banshee bath bomb. It says a whaley sweet bath. Oh, okay. So this is like the one that's like a bit more vanilla-y, is probably very good for your skin. Oh, it's got popping candy. It's got bergamot oil. Gardenia. Grapefruit. Almond essential oil. Okay, this, this I'm excited to try. I also think this will be a good one to do with Otty. Oh, we have another bubble bar here. This is Bubble Lugosi. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my gosh. This just smells like nothing I have shown you so far. This smells, oh my gosh. It says crumble this illuminating bubble bar under running water, then settle in as you're surrounded by bubbles, steam, and an eerie glow. <laughs> Glowing berry foam. That is very exciting. That smells insane. So this is a bubble bar. All of Lush's sparkle and glitter that you may find in some of the products is all also completely plastic free and from ethical sources as well, which is good to know. Oh, this looks fun. Monster octopus shower jelly. It's fruity, it's bubbly, and it's great fun to wash with. Make it slide across the tub to start your own octopus dance up again. Oh, am I gonna try and get this out? Guys, this is like a full on, this is an actual octopus. I feel like it's just gonna slop out in my, into my hand. Okay, maybe I won't get this out. But I, again, this is Otty's dream. Can you see that? <laughs> Can you see that? That looks fun. Oh, that smells good. Black currant and vanilla. All the Lush Pots are recyclable, but they also have their bring it back recyclable pot scheme so you can take your empty pots back in and any of these pots you bring back you can get 50p off your next shopping trip in lush per qualifying item which is great so those are all of the halloween lush bits i'm very excited to have a bath cannot tell you um i'll leave a link down below if you want to go and check any out or you can scan a qr code which i will leave here if that is easier for you if you're watching this on the big screen and you've got your phone to hand i just i love lush thank you for working with me on this section of the video absolute dream come true i now need to like try and hide these from otty or like she's gonna scoop them all up and just throw them in the bath immediately i can hear her coming downstairs now I'm gonna try and save these for a bath for tomorrow night because Mark is actually coming over this evening. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be the last time I see him before his birthday. I feel like October is flying. So I need to wrap his presents. I've got him like one main present and then like a bit more of a jokey present. So yeah, he's coming over a bit later. I kind of wanna make a guess at which one she's gonna love the most. I think anything with a face, maybe the ghost. Dirty. Ghosty, yeah. Anna. What's that? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. And dirty. Yeah. And the that's the screaming lady. Hey, lady. Oh, do you want to smell him? Oh, pooey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that one. Okay, try that one. Give that one a smell. Oh. Is that nice? Yeah. Oh, you like that one like then? That. Have a sniff of this one. Oh, dirty. Ghosty. And look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, it's an octopus. That's his little legs. <laughs> oh, he's so <all> slimy. <laughs> Get out it. Oh. Oh. Get it out. You want me to sit it out? Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. We might. Okay, we'll, ha we'll do this very 
gently. Oh my goodness me! It's like jelly. Hold out your hand then. Hold out. Hold out your hand. <laughs> it's slimy. Look the <laughs> Do you like this one the best? Yeah. Yeah. We got we can't open it again. Ready? <laughs> no, don't go, don't run off with it. Oh no, <laughs> put it back in the pot. She's playing with it like a like a toy now. They're so clever, aren't they? Those. Who's inside here? Baby. Who is it? Baby's what? Baby tummy. Is it? You ready? Yeah. Yeah. That baby tummy has heart in it. It is, isn't it? Oh, that's right. Mark's just arrived and Ottie is hiding. She loves to make people jump. I don't know where she gets it from. <laughs> where are you hiding then? Oh, you're, oh look, you're hiding quite far away, okay. I'm gonna put this in. Come on in. Where is everyone? Where's Otty? I don't know. Where could she be? I don't know. I think she's around. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> You scared me! <laughs> she always remembers <laughs> what Mark's bought her and then brings it out. Where's mummy and daddy toy? Where's the mummy and daddy toy? <laughs> That's on the shelf. We've yeah. still got that. <laughs> Are you ready? Good morning. Mark and I are up. We're ready. It's taken me a little while. It's the next day. <laughs> yes, it's taken me a whole day. <laughs> Look at this. The corn is already going like corny coloured, which I love. We are, where do you think we're going? Where do they think we're off to? Haskins! <laughs> Haskins, Haskins, for a good old time. And even though I feel like this vlog is very Halloween vibes, we all know Haskins is gonna be full of Christmas stuff. So how, how festive are you feeling right now? I, I'll have to decide when I'm <laughs> I'm so pregnant. You'd you lose your head if it weren't screwed on. I'd lose everything right now if it wasn't screwed on. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I got it. it. I got it. <laughs> I got my key. Everything feels a bit tight. Maybe I should have worn a looser outfit. The, these dungarees are going somewhere. Probably they touching the baby's head. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Warming it, her up. It's like the old um, carpet bags. Yeah, or like, um, you know, like those tapestry cushions. Yeah. My mum actually was very into tapestry at one point. Look how tight that is on my tummy. Yeah. Do you want to go change? No. Or maybe you can just put the flap down. You flap it down a bit. Or... I could undo, should I just undo some buttons? Yeah. <gasps> 31 weeks today. <laughs> Stop. Someone's having a baby. And I wish it was you <laughs> instead of me. <laughs> if I could, you know I'd carry your babe. Would you push it out? Um, I would. Not. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> That's a hard firm no. No, you know I would. <laughs> we had smoothies, guys, for breakfast in October. It's just quite warm still. I don't like it. What's going on? There's something I want to say. <laughs> Got to turn around. What a tune. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a station. And this is breaking. Oh, oh it's because I was watching your video. Now you're coming out. <laughs> Shut up, Mark. 
If you've not already like seen Mark's updated 2023 updated flat tour and decorating for Halloween video, make sure you go and see it. What music are we listening to? Like, should we listen to the Hocus Pocus soundtrack? I would love nothing more. I don't think I have ever listened to that. One lemon on my head. We've got the witches next month. Four oh my on god! My How do you feel about that? I mean, I'm really excited about it. Let's just hope I can Six actually sit through it. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you need to get up, I wish you well. <laughs> I'll still be in my seat waiting for you for when you get back. <laughs> oh, you gotta go? Oh, all right. See ya. <laughs> You know I would never do that. Zachary Minks. Zachary Minks. <laughs> Zachary, isn't it? Zachary, yeah. Zachary. Is yeah. it Zachary or Zachary? Zachary? Now you're making me second guess. Hey Siri, is it Zachary Binks or Thackery Binks? Zach It's Thackery. James Mar Jason Marsden as Thackery Binks. Have you been saying Zachary this whole time? I don't know. Since 1993. For a good 10 years. Yeah. Makes me 13. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I look love her so much. Hello, darling. Can you have your room, Dad? It's lovely. Oh, good. Oh. Shall we? Yeah, I mean it's summer. Oh, I have got a red lip and, and my hair's down. Oh, and I have had a watery eye. <laughs> oh, <my> grandma. <laughs> grandma! We need to watch Hocus Pocus and The Witches when we get back. Oh my God, just please. Do we think Otty's, Otty's too young for both of those? Well, that's the thing. It was either because she's so polite, which she is, but it must have been my t-shirt that scared her because I wasn't wearing it yesterday when I saw her. Because it's got the Grand High Witch on there. I mean, she was like, I'm scared. Yeah, I mean, it is quite a uh, visual. Terri oh my God, it's the most terrifying thing. I reckon I watched <laughs> The Witches for the first time when I was like six or seven. When did it come out, The Witches? 1990. So I don't think I obviously didn't watch it in 1990 because I was born then. So mm. I must have watched it about six or seven. The Grand High Witch terrified me then. Yeah. She still terrifies me. She is absolutely horrific but it never scared me you know what scared me bloody child catcher yeah i know a lot of people who are scared of the child catcher it's a high between the sofas Aww. yeah playing with the barbie you should be the child catcher for for christmas for halloween <laughs> get my little lollipop the black like like slick greasy hair yeah. which you would never want to do i'd have to get a wig well, yeah but you still wouldn't want to wear it <laughs> <laughs> you trying to kid? <laughs> Come on now, man. Come on, man. The hat, the like top hat. Yeah. The like cloak. Black suit. And then you could just play the music. <laughs> and you could like have lollipops. You could have your jacket. You could lollipops. open it and you could have like lollipops yeah. and stuff. That's such a fun costume. That is a really good one. I think I would scare myself though. He just looks so menacing. He played that character very well. Yeah. Like his acting was top tier. Whoever that was. What would you say is your favourite autumn memory of the two of us? The Halloween shopping all in a day. We did the whole. Oh my god! That was also mine. That's we a did. very good answer. Did all the masks? You know, I've still got them masks. So have I. In my trunk. I, I sometimes I look at them. Sometimes you just put them on, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we went to places all around Brighton. Oh, we drove to every shop that had... Anything. Halloween. Yeah. Pretty much. If there was one reality TV show you'd go on, what would it be? Apart from Bake Off. <laughs> or any, any cooking based one. Um... Oh... <laughs> it's the shot. It's the 2023 oh autumn God, yeah. Haskins shot. In we go. In we go. Let's go. I can see Christmas already. Look at this. I'm home. 
it feels weird that it's like sunny and actually quite warm outside. Like normally we come in here and we're like really like dressed up. Freezing. Oh, oh my god, it. I love that. I really like that. Oh my gosh, Christmas has well and truly arrived in here. I wonder if they've got any more of my elves, my cheeky little elves. I hope not. <laughs> I've just never been able to find those again and it makes me so sad because I loved them. Guys, I'm gutted. They didn't have the pizza oven open. This is the first time in like, how many years have we been coming here? At least like seven years. <laughs> We've been coming here. I've never not had a pizza. Pizza oven's down. So I've gone for a jacket potato, which, I mean, it's still delicious, but. It's just not the same. It's not the same. Like a Haskins pizza is just next level. You can't take it home. You can't take a jacket home. No. I did complain though. I was like, if this is not sorted, I can't find it. <laughs> if you don't sort this issue out. By next year, <laughs> you'll be in for my lawyer. Now I've already done the porch, but I just feel like you can't do a Halloween porch without chrysanthemums and they didn't have them in our local garden centre, but they do have them here. They smell stunning. Let me smell. Oh, oh that went right up my nostril. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, I think I just inhaled that right up there. <laughs> Beer travels. Oh, thank you. Mm. We had a little mooch around. It was lovely. We didn't get too into the Christmas stuff. No, we're going to save that. Yeah. Oh, and you bought some. Is that wine? I'm not sure. <clears throat> it looks like whiskey. Sweet and Moorish with rich, deep honey flavours. Yeah, I think it's wine. Gluten free. Why is it that colour? Mo must be the honey. That's cool. But yeah, Walking the Demon is called. Oh, waking the demon. Walking. <laughs> Walking the demon. Just taking the demon out for a little walk. Let's do it, shall we? Come on, Shay. Let's get this on the road, Shay. Shay. Thank you for visiting Haskins Garden Centre. Have a seat. Please safe. come again <laughs> soon. Have a drive. No. God. Have a safe drive home. home. I will. The new Maiden Chelsea series. Coming soon to E4. <laughs> You'd be good at that, you know, like the bit that in between shows. Really? Yeah. Made in Chelsea. Say, up next. Up next, Made in Chelsea, coming to E4. Do you remember when we tried to do the um, auto cue? Yeah, I was helping you practice for something. Okay, let me do it and see if they just want any on like TikTok or something, see if I can do it. Hey everyone, happy Friday. I'm Nina and this is News Round live on CBBC. Stick with me and I'll get. <laughs> It's harder than you think, isn't it? I was being too cocky. Stick with me and as I've got all the day's top stories for you right here. Read on. Oh, test your spelling as we meet the US spilling bee. <laughs> spilling bee. And little donkey that's returned home. This weekend, football fans of Manchester United and Manchester City will be gearing up for a big showdown as the two teams go head to head for the FA Cup final trophy. Trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid on that audition, I can't offer you the part, no. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Coming up on E4, <laughs> Married at First UK. Oh. <laughs> Coming up, <clears throat> next up on E4, Married at First UK. <laughs> <laughs> I said it! <laughs> up next, up next on E4, Married at First Sight UK. Oh my god, you, you try it. It's so hard. Once you get something in your mind. Up next on E4, Married at First Sight UK. Oh, Enjoy. Smashed it. <laughs> you would sprinkle a little enjoy in there as well. Enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> Up next on E4, Married at First UK. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you've got this. Up Come next on. on E4, Married at First Sight UK. <laughs> Up next on E4, Married at First Sight UK on E4. <laughs> <laughs> Up next on E4, Married at First UK. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Up next on E4, Married at First Sight UK coming up. <laughs> no, what did you say? Enjoy. Okay, I'm going to do it. This is the last time. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> 
Up next on E4, Married at First Sight UK. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn over. Up next on E4. No, why am I speaking like me? I need to speak like a presenter. Up next. Don't turn over. <laughs> Don't turn over. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Don't. Don't turn over! Don't turn over! Up next on E4. Celebrity SAS, who dares wins on E4. Well done. Thank Smash you. Smash that. Thank you. One more go. Okay. Don't turn over. Up next on E4. Celebrity SAS, who dares wins. Perfect. Oh, yeah. You did it. You nailed it. The new series of Made in Chelsea. Coming soon to January. <laughs> coming soon. Yeah, no, coming soon to E4 this January. Ah, oh. oh, that's it. I'm knackered. Does anybody else just do this with their best friend in the car? I kind of even forgot you were filming. <laughs> <laughs> Married at first UK. <laughs> oh. But you were going to be like, love your dog. <laughs> I love your dog. I never know with you when the window goes down. I'm like, what's he gonna do? Oh. What's he gonna say? <laughs> what's he gonna say? <laughs> Imagine if I was just like, up next on E4. <laughs> <laughs> is love is the best medicine? I feel like that's so apt because today is actually World Mental Health Day as we're filming this. I feel like me and you are really good at like building each other up on, on down days. Oh yeah. Or wobbly days. We like we don't call them down days, we call them wobbles. Yeah, exactly. I call them wobbles. This is your reminder. If you're watching this, you're struggling, something's hard, getting you down, you feel alone, isolated, reach out to someone, it doesn't matter who it is. Someone you trust. Someone you trust. And if there isn't, there's always stuff online, isn't there? Oh yeah, there's so much help available. Yeah. This turned very deep all of a sudden. But I know. I, <laughs> I feel like it's nothing. I, I say this stuff all the time because I'm, I always want to talk about mental health and make it like a normal conversation. Mm. And um, yeah, that just reminded me. So if you are watching this, I do feel like a lot of people say they watch our videos for comfort if they're going through a hard time. Oh my God, I know. Um, so if, any, if that's one of you right now, just know that me and Mark are thinking of you. We love you. We do. You matter. Yep. People care about you. We care about and you. And if you can talk, even if that's just to scratch the surface. Yeah, or like in the comments as well. Yes, leave a comment. And then other people comment and it's like this amazing thread of like lifting each other up. I think also sometimes when you're going through something, it can feel quite isolating and like you're the only one. Yeah. And I say this quite a lot, um, but it's really not the case. Like I would say most people probably have something that they struggle with in their life, whether that's daily, weekly, monthly, I don't know, once every 10 years, yeah. you never know. Um, you're really not alone. And I feel like places like the community of you guys online is where you really see it. Yeah. Because somebody else can leave a comment and be like, I feel the exact same, or I've experienced something very similar, or, and I, that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love talking about it on this platform because it's just such a nice place. Like, I don't know, it's just a nice place. It like is. Everybody, it's the best. everybody is dealing on. with something and you just never know. Um, and you're not the only one. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes I'll mention stuff in vlogs and the comments are like, oh my God, you've just explained how I'm, uh, how I feel. Yeah. And I see other replies, I'm like, oh my God, I'm obviously benefiting so much from the comments and like the community that share their things. I think um, one of the most, <clears throat> um, the most talked, not talked about thing to me, because I have conversations with lots of you in real life all the time about loads of different things. But I would say in terms of like mental health and anxiety, one of the most frequent things I get from people that have been watching my videos for a long time is that my first video that I posted in 2013 was when they realized they had anxiety yeah. because they were watching my video and I was explaining my anxiety and they were like, hang on a minute, yeah. this is how I feel or sometimes I get that or, um, and that's like, Honestly, like probably one of my most proudest 
achievements in that sense. I was so nervous to upload that video. Like, no one I followed was really talking about mental health. So it was no like- No one was talking about it. So I was so nervous to post it. And like, it just felt like a really vulnerable thing to do. Obviously, what's amazing is the, the mental health conversation is so much broader these days and lots more people talk about it, which is amazing. But I, it didn't really ever cross my mind that like my video could spark it in somebody else like yeah. to be like oh my god wait this is the same as me and like I've met people who were like I watched your video 10 years ago and realised I have anxiety and I went to therapy I worked on it and I you know and now I'm like a different person and I'm just like that's so amazing yeah. isn't it I showed my mum and dad that video did you? yeah just to show them this is how I'm feeling because I couldn't put it into words yeah and I just was like can you just watch this video I don't I haven't watched the video back in a really really long time and I feel like I probably don't even really put it into very good words but <laughs> I'm glad it made sense to people oh at the time. yeah it definitely did world mental health day check in on your friends check in on check in on your friends but check in on your friends that check in on you yeah like checking on like the loud one or the funny one or like the strong one the strong one someone's doing a driving test behind us are they he's really chomping on something isn't he what's she what's he chomping on must be chewing gum yeah he's really going to town on that chewing gum he's probably nervous yeah that is a test isn't it she's wearing a high vis do you want to make it look this do you want to pick him off yeah oh hope he, i hope he gets it imagine the nerves the most nerve-wracking things I've ever had to do. Yeah. I've done a lot of things in my time. You have. But doing a driving test? Yeah. No. Did you fail first time? Yeah, I've, I've passed on my third go. Oh, third time's lucky, yeah. Mm. I passed on my second. I failed my theory about a million times. No, I did. Do you know what I miss? Only fours and horses. No. I just would like everything would be so cheap. What an Argus catalog? Yeah. As in you're buying an old one? Well like to go through it and see how everything's changed in prices. Oh my god. Stretch Armstrong, tenor. You fancied it? I did. It was I one of my first you, yeah, crushes, yeah. I remember you telling me that. Your first crush was a Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> If it got you in the eye, we will be taking you in. Might be a bit heavy for you to carry, but let's see. How old is Mark going to be, do you think? Two. Yes. yes. <laughs> Gets younger and younger every year. <laughs> Here you oh go. Oh my God, thank you. Oh, I'm in that one. You want him to open that one? Wow. Be careful. Oh, thank wow. you, darling. Wow. It's a flower, apparently. Thank you. Bring it, Mark. What does this say? Ferris. That's what Mummy calls Mark. Can you say Ferris? Ferris. Ferris. Oh, this is me. <laughs> we love you so much. Keep being unappro una unapologetically <laughs> you. <laughs> love Zoe, Alfie, and Otti and Nala. Oh. We love you. We love you more. So this is like a bit of a just a joke present. I saw it and I was like, I just feel like you need this um, in your collection. Is it a mug? Maybe. <laughs> Hey, what's inside of this? Uh, 
<laughs> you already knew you were getting I it. I did, I did. Oh, focus. <laughs> Lego. <gasps> Oh my god, this is your favourite movie you don't even know yet. <laughs> hocus Pocus! Oh, wow, it's a big house. It's a Where big are you taking house. it? Oh, we're getting, making all the room. There we go. Isn't that cool? Thank you. <laughs> You're so welcome. Oh, yes! Oh, it's heavy. This is for Mark. Open. Oh, we can't open it now, and I'll explain why. So it's actually, it doesn't look like this yet. You have to put it all together, but it takes a very long time. That's what Mark's gonna do. It's gonna take me a long time, but I think I'll do it. They're flying on broomsticks. They're making spells. It's time. Boo! You have. Yeah, so, 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 so. Also, look at Mark's socks. I love them. Also, because Otty really wanted to play with Mark's uh, Hocus Pocus Lego, we made her a Hocus Pocus house out of Duplo. <laughs> How cute is that? All the witches on the roof. Oh, it was actually very fun. I think I had more fun than she did. There we go. Now you can feel mummy. Hello. Can you see me? Press that button. Can you see me? Press that button. Yeah. You can. And here, Mark. Can you see Mark? And here. It's all so weird. Little Josies. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> Look at me today. Good evening, guys. As you can see, today has been a no makeup, hair up in a bun, feeling very tired, feeling very pregnant, um, <laughs> cozy day. The weather has actually been very cozy. It's been rainy. We've um, done some crafts today. We painted some pumpkins. I will show you those in a second. But realized as I was editing this vlog that I never ended it. So you're just joining me this evening. We're about to make dinner. Ooh, which one did you cook? Did you cook the teriyaki peanut with basmati rice? I cooked the 20 minute dinner. Which one's? For lunch yesterday. Yeah, you took, you took the quick one. Got the bag, got the goods. I'm gonna cook dinner now. Actually, if anyone is still interested in HelloFresh. This is not sponsored, this part of my vlog. I have worked with HelloFresh before. You guys know Alfie and I are big HelloFresh fans. Um, but as I said, this is not sponsored by them. But my code is still valid. So I will leave that in the description box below if you still wanna sign up and get a good deal. It is there. But yeah, I'm gonna get started on the ultimate pie because it is that kind of weather. And then I think I'm gonna do my Lush bath. Because again, it's just cosy and I feel like I need to do a face mask. I feel like I need to do a body scrub. You know when you just need like an ultimate pamper session? As you can see, that is what I'm in need of. Right, pies are in the oven and I thought I'd come and show you. These are the little ceramic pumpkin tea lights that Otty and I painted. Well, Otty painted them both, but... We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Yeah. Which one's your favourite? Um, that one. This one with the green? Yeah. Yeah, that is a good one. We could put a little candle in there and burn them for Halloween, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I need that one. Oh. Okay, dinner has been had. It is about to go dark. I do not have long. And I need to take all of these toys out, obviously. But also... <laughs> This is all we have left of the monster octopus now. This has been a firm fave for Otty. Most bath times, she's gonna be very sad when this runs out. <laughs> Just whilst the bath is running. How cute does Otty's fireplace look? These were from Home Sense that I got with Mark and this as well. And she's just got a little book 
and these little i have no idea where i got these from but she really wanted them up here they're very cute and then this i also got from home sense i did have to glue his arm back on um he wasn't uh made the best <laughs> this one um but we did manage to fix him i think as long as otty's not too rough with him should be fine little witch and then a little jelly cat pumpkin um, and then she did have her funny bones book here but she wants me to read it to her all the time so that is now somewhere in the house <laughs> oh and then we've just got a couple of the little mice like hanging from the mirror cute okay so we are going to ignore the ice cream maker which is clearly not for me <laughs> but also how funny i still use this we bought this for Otty when she was a newborn. We still use it for Otty and I use it for my baths. But I've also found it very useful now that I'm pregnant because you can't have the water over a certain temperature. I'm usually a 39 degree gal, but I have gotten used to a bit of a cooler bath. I just, I don't stay in it as long. So we're at 35, we're all good. <laughs> Take that out. Then bath bomb wise, I've just gone for the classic Lord of Misrule because I think this is just going to make the water look insane and also I'm just going to smell delicious. So let's go. I mean that is like pure Halloween vibes. If I thought I had any sort of tan after coming back off that holiday, <laughs> I clearly don't. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna jump in the bath. I'm gonna really fully enjoy my little pamper session. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box if you want to grab yourself any of the Lush Halloween collection. And I will see you again very soon, guys.